Hello, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to go over this article concerning Rust. Um, and uh, I don't really know Rust at all. I haven't really played with it, but I do know a lot of people like it. This one's specifically for algorithmic trading. And uh, as you can see here on Reddit, under coding, subreddit, I spent 18 months rebuilding my algorithmic trading in Rust, and I'm filled with regret. So let me start by the comments here. This guy, I'm not sure if he's seeing zero, meaning it's no good, or this one here. I kind of agree with this. Once you go through this article, it says if you, you don't seem to understand the basics of writing code, safe code, so Rust borrow checker rules are arcane to you. Anyone coming from C or C++, compile languages for native development, Rust was designed to replace. Find Rust to be a godsend, all the power of native code with none of the overall overhead of a garbage collector. I guess that's the big advantages of Rust and the safety checks put in. Uh, Rust simply enforces the memory safety rules that good developers should have been using in C, C++. If it seems difficult to get Rust to compile, then you need to go back and learn some fundamental fundamentals about uh, memory, ownership, semantics, and RAII, which can be found in C++ and C. So here's the article. And uh, let me just open this. This person seems to be kind of angry at things, the way he writes. Um, public articles, I don't think really are not going to get you anywhere um, for both people reading this or from a search engine optimization standpoint. Um, just saying. So I'm going to be neutral here. Uh, you'll know what I mean here. So this guy's complaining about it. He put 18 months of his time into this, thinking that people love their rust, I guess. Um, everything on Medium, Reddit, Stack Overflow, everything is glowing. That's what I would think too. I decided to migrate away from TypeScript rewrite entire open sourced algo trading system in Rust. Um, so he originally gave... Uh, Rust a neutral rating, and they took it back. So the question is why? Um, my article was sent with harsh criticism on Reddit, including one highly upvoted comment that accused me of using ChatGPT to write my article. Yeah, you get that a lot. Um, this is the world we live in now. And uh, you can see here, lots of upvotes for literally that isn't true. I don't use ChatGPT, don't like it, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So you could get the idea of the tone here. Um, so uh, he's been working with Rust, gave it a fair shot. Now he says he despises it. And uh, yeah, this article will be a focused rant, what I despise about this crabby language. So he gives a code snippet here of, of, uh, of uh, Rust. And these are the gripes. So he's trying to use a large language model, writing a function that becomes literally impossible. Doesn't want to spend 90 days figuring out where claw, where in my run transaction function. He just wants to write, you can see here, function. So you can see the tone that I'm talking about. Um, so he's got, trying to write a helper function. He had to quit um, doing that because of the compiler. Rust's biggest strength, a strict compiler to eliminate errors, is one of its biggest flaws. That's why you got that comment here in Reddit. And uh, it's the same with Python as well. And the same when you step in the world of Java or C Sharp as well uh, with the garbage collector. Give me a garbage collector and let me do what I want to do. Okay, maybe he should be. Looks like he likes his Go, which I've never really used. Um, so you don't have to do backflips to figure out, to make the dang code work. It just works. And then he talks about, uh, horrendous error handling. So, uh, you can be sure the code will run and keep running. Nil, pointer, exception, unhandled errors just don't happen anymore. Yay. Right. Uh, and I guess he's been accusing he's not 
knowing how to write this code. Um, I don't know why you want to go back to a platform like Reddit and repost something, get chewed out. Um, Reddit must be a glutton for punishment. So now he's claiming when your data is wrong or something unexpectedly happened, you'll be fighting to figure out what, what happened here. Again, tone right here. Maybe I'm just an idiot and can't figure out the how to enable stack traces. So the errors, these are probably C-like as well. Let me just take a look. Good old Google doesn't show that. No, okay, that's fine. I'm going to do this as well. Portfolio ID, yeah. The, this is not very monemic uh, code errors. Descriptions can happen like that, C++ as well. And less less than Python. And Python can be a problem too. But if again, I always keep saying, if you come from the world of C, mastering all this and, and trying to mimic your coding in a C style, you should be okay. But that can take a number of years to figure that out. Um, anyways, so he's talking like here. Okay, so he 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 says beautiful art like stack traces that tells you exactly what happened in the line number down to the line. Yeah, that's very important to know that. Uh if you're using an IDE for it, um I think just try living in a world of compiler and or interpreter and only something like an editor like a sublime with no IDE. You'll have fun there. That's that's how you get stronger as a developer as well, I might add. Um, you're you're less lazy. Uh, even in Go, yes. what's happening here? Back to article. Um, so uh, enable to look at the entire uh, stack in your application. I think this is very important in any language uh, to know exactly the line number. Uh, as I said, C++ and C can be very cryptic as well, especially when it comes to managing your own memory. Um, but it's just part of the pain if you want to get those very, very high paying jobs because you have to be very proficient at that. Otherwise, you'd be spending a lot of lost hours trying to debug this stuff in the stack traces. Um, so right here, again, tone, tone, uh, counters, rust, I'm in La La Land trying to figure out what happened. Tone, as, you, as I said earlier, I need an e-print line litter throughout my application. Poor, poor baby. That's part of running a uh, debugging process without the world famous, uh, world famous um, IDEs in Visual Studio or VS Code. Rust community isn't nice and cool to pretend to be. I can't say that. Wow, tone, extreme tone, I'll say. Narcissist, you know what? I hate being told that a favorite language has flaws. <laughs> so he's going on about MongoDB. He says now he's ranting on about using MongoDB. Um, and he's being told to use Postgres, blah, 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 blah. That set him off. And uh, it can't matter, especially if you're using something like JavaScript. Uh, or Django framework because everyone first to use Postgres because Postgres uses fully functioning true open source. Probably one of the only last databases out there is truly 100% open source, not some form of, uh, uh, I can't remember the term for it, but commercial. Um, okay. So MongoDB is bad in Go and Python too. I, I don't agree with that. I just find MongoDB is totally different from any other type of database. It's not a traditional relationship type of database that Postgres can be. So I think that's what he's trying to make it out. Like Mongo is a fully relationship type of database, which it really isn't. Maybe things have changed, but when I used it, it's just uh, message queuing, uh, really. An actual helpful suggestion to improve the error message. So he says that that's rare. Um, no community that's a cult-like as Rust. I could probably say the same thing about JavaScript. Um, they ignore all the learning flaws of the language, crazy learning curve, verbosity, horrible error message, crazy syntax, and questionable language design. Um, don't know. 
I guess if, if we compare it to C++, is obviously a better language. That's true. But C++ is always higher paying or should be higher paying because of it's not a friendly language when it comes to memory management. There is no memory management and you have to develop that yourself. There's no garbage collector. So it's really not built for uh, lazy people. So uh, just remember that. Other languages like Go, it's safety to me is more of a detriment. I just think he doesn't like the style or, or how, how it works and how it's implemented. But rather take my application, it doesn't milliseconds longer to run if it means development time is cut in half. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. A lot of people will stress about how C++ is the language to develop in for shaving down time on a rating system. Uh, I kind of counteract that with, well, it takes how long to develop the system, get it foolproof, as well as how long does it take to debug. So that is a huge factor nobody ever talks about. So that is something you got to consider if you're developing your own system. You know, my view on trading view as well, because it's just way easier. Um, if I choose to write my app in Go, I don't know what, if it's for yourself, fine, but for career, I don't know. And not have seen a lot of jobs comparative to C++ and Python when it comes to algo trading. I just don't see it a whole lot. No different than uh, I used to see a lot of C Sharp. I used to see a lot of Java, but I still see a lot of C++ and Python. Um, again, the standard is C++ is usually the, the, the platform or language that's used for full-on trading systems at an enterprise level, meaning hedge fund and whatnot. To do it on your own might be a little suicidal because the amount of time it takes. Um, if you're, believe me, man, I've seen teenagers do it and they've turned into coding wizards and do very well in life. As a result, the Go, I don't know. I think that's just a preference. But again, I don't see that uh, happening. If Rust is going to overtake C++, it, that's going to take probably decades as more and more people write applications in Rust 100% versus just using parts of Rust to replace certain code uh, that's in C++ or Java or whatnot. Okay, um, so uh, he made a mistake, uh, blah, blah, blah. And then he's going on about OCaml, might be, the, might be the better language. But anyways, that's just his opinion. Always looking for your comments as well. This one I think is a very valid comment as feedback. Um, but uh, you, can, you can read the tone of the article as well, as I said, uh, on how that's working out or this guy, and his name's Austin Sparks, I believe. Yeah, Austin Stark, sorry. So I don't know. Um, maybe there's some comments here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. And if you want to know more what I do and really make your life a lot easier, uh, I've shown some demos of my most recent videos on YouTube. Just go to the learnquantlabsnet.com and uh, get in on that and i'll show you the introductory features of trading view and you can be auto trading very quickly um and using a very very powerful platform probably the most it is the most powerful platform on the planet when you also focus on the community that comes with trading view uh, without a doubt it's a much bigger community than from what i've seen on my statistics with similar web it just blows the doors off even the combination of both bloomberg and cnbc that's how big trading view is. And I like the language. It's kind of wonky, but you can work with it. That's pretty well it. Thanks for watching.